Yes. Uh, one of, you know, we're talking about traditions all day today. We're yep. back here. We want to talk about the traditions of milk and drinking milk in Winter Circle. And you really don't get to drink it unless you cross the Art of Bricks <laughs> with that flag. Yes. So joining us right now is the people responsible for the milk. Hello to you. Introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Jill Huyan from Homestead Dairy, and I'm super excited to be here and be part of the tradition of bringing dairy farmers together in the winter circle with the winning driver. Cannot yes, wait. This is awesome. <laughs> and I'm Tim Haynes from Garrett, Indiana, Superior Dairy, and I'm excited to learn from Jill this year because next year I'll give it to the winner. Well, this is a, a tradition that has been at this track since its inception. Let's talk about the importance of this milk. Drivers had a chance to pick which particular milk they wanted. A lot of them choose the whole milk. Absolutely. There were 21 drivers who chose whole milk this year. 12 chose 2% and zero chose skim. There were two buttermilks for the history of the buttermilk choice, but it's quite different now than it was then. So it's not a drinkable product. It's more yeah. of a making cake product. And didn't somebody, didn't one of them chocolate. pick chocolate milk? Yeah. One did choose chocolate <laughs> milk, but you know what? He can enjoy it after the race and enjoy a glass of or bottle of whole milk if he wins. Okay, that was my question. So if he ch wanted that milk and won, mm -hmm. he still has to drink the whole milk? You know, he actually gave a choice of chocolate and whole. Okay. Okay. So he can still enjoy both of his choices. you got to gotcha. see the white milk in there. Tim, yeah, talk to us a little bit about how you get chosen to be part of this. Well, we're chosen by our fellow dairy farmers. Um, we both sit on a board and... Um, that that you know deals with this so yeah. um it's it's an honor and, and the fact that we're so much like these race teams so we appreciate the option the opp opportunity yeah well, thank you both for Absolutely. coming on and sharing this american dairy association indiana winners drink milk Absolutely. bottle and milk i'm actually gonna uh cheers and you can raise a glass when i hand it off to the winner this year and okay. celebrate we'll with it. the winner cheers 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 Oh, it's still nice and cold. Oh, it's good. Now, you know, normally if they win, you know what they do, right? With the Pour milk. it. I'm not. <laughs> Are you doing it? Yeah. It oh, would no, love no. It. Come on. I would I'll make a smell for the rest of the day once it starts. Yeah, yeah. Hey. All right. Let's, let's bring in Dan and Fanchon. They are at the USAC building with a great view. So, uh... Let's I tell pick you. Out winners. You want to pick a winner? Let's pick out winners. You let's go, go first. Let's go to Dan and Fanchon first. Yeah. Yeah, who do you pick. guys have winning today? Gonna win? I'm going to go I'm going to go with Ed Carpenter today. All right. He's been in it. That'd be big, right? It would be Local a big guy. Win for us locally. Yeah. So, Ed Carpenter's my pick. I'll go from the second row with TK, Tony Kanan. He was Very maybe going to retire last year. There weren't any fans here. He said, "I can't go out that way." So, he's back. Maybe he gets it done one more time. Awesome. Guys, gonna have a great race. Going to make it easy. Great. You too, going to make it easy. The Dans are going to pick TK. Tony you Kanaan. You are as well? Yep. Tony I'm going to go with someone. Go Dans. You know, go TK. Alex Polo, because I picked him out of the hat. He's on the second row. He's a young guy. I want to see somebody young win. You're so formal. <laughs> <laughs> You're so formal. Awesome. <laughs> I was expecting you, you to pick someone different. I'll tell you what. I, want, I like Marco Andretti. Yeah. I like Fittipaldi. I like all of those, that we the names we've known forever. Well, 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 whoever you pick, we hope it's an incredible race. They have a beautiful day for it. Yes. It has been such an incredible morning to bring you live coverage from the 105th running of the Indianapolis 500 as we take another live look now at Gasoline Alley with the Pagoda there. What a beautiful sight to see fans back here at the track. We hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day today and maybe to me most importantly Memorial Day as a whole. Yes. Thanking all of those who have really given their life and supported us throughout this country.